All right, this is Flatlander 757 or 937, depending on what form I'm on. Uh, getting ready to flash the ECM in my 09 2 liter Mazda 3 with the Dynotronic software. Basically, got everything about ready. Computer's up. Little man is helping out right here. Say hi, Levi. Nope, or not. Anyways. This is the cable that is provided. It's a Tactrix OBD2 cable, plugs into the laptop. One of the things when you're flashing that is very important, make sure the laptop is plugged into a power source. And make sure the battery on the car is in good charge. And start by opening up the program Mazda Edit. All right, I'm going to go ahead and plug in the OBD2 cable. Now, first off, I actually need to download the... need to download the newest flash file off of my email that was sent to me through Dynotronics. I know, Levi. You don't need to see my emails. Have fun, Levi. Alrighty. I'm going to go ahead, I copy the file from my download area, I'm keeping all my flash files in here, pasting the newest revision into there, and we're ready to start, start by turning the key to the on position, all accessories, radio and everything off, lights off, and file, oh, I'm sorry, you open up the, what's called the flash utility, comes up with this little screen here, open up the ECU ROM file, which is what we just put in, and open it up. Uh, when Dynotronics did the last one, they left this first one checked, so we're going to go ahead and do the same. And at that point, we are going to go ahead and write the ECU's flash to memory. And the ignition's already in the on position. Okay. Now, while this is going... Excuse you. Now while this is going on, you can kind of see the updates. This will take a couple minutes. It's writing all the blocks of data for the uh, for the maps and all that good stuff. And uh, just hang out. Don't touch anything at all in the car. Don't touch anything at all on the computer. Just let it be.
can see down here in the corner it has a little little focus, a little countdown and count up sort of deal with the time in the bottom. Looks like about 35 seconds left roughly. So it's kind of letting it do its thing. Can't really focus on that too well. Alright, now it has to turn please the ignition switch on. It is already in the on position. So go ahead and skip this step. Now we turn the ignition off. And okay. And now we are good to start it up. And we're good. It's loaded. And at this point, you can go in and to the logger. And this is something that actually needs to be corrected in the software but it asks for you to fill in these things you can just type in whatever um, doesn't matter the only thing that really matters is down here you can choose Mazda OBD2 or OBD can, or, uh, can. Uh, the can is faster of the two I haven't really noticed much of a difference between the two in any other respects but can has everything that we need so right now it's logging air fuel ratios. Um, let me just go up here. I'm only going to show what I have selected. These are the important. These are the important components to monitor the that uh, Dynotronics requested me to keep an eye on, and this is what I normally log while driving around when they want to see. You can watch the air fuels jump. I'm going to blip the throttle. see stuff that's going on and I'm gonna cut this video off right now because I'm not able to actually drive it right now I'm on babysitting babysitting duty but this is flashed and ready for me to drive around and log it uh, whenever I get a chance so stay tuned for that if you want to find out more